Right. Uh, credit to Brown. You know, they came in shorthanded and, and we knew they're a talented team and they just they kept competing right right down to the to the very end. So um, and and I just think Mo's doing a great job over there. And, um, you know, they really compete hard and, and, and make it make it difficult to play against them for 40 minutes. Um, you know, we really wanted to make sure we were going through the paint and and not just, you know, a lot of times against zone, you just settle for a lot of jump shots. I thought we were great with our jump shot decisions. I thought we really committed to getting to the paint, uh, got better finishing um, in the in the second half, um, you know, and for for probably about 30 to 35 minutes, really, really guarded them pretty well. Um, so a lot of positive takes from that. Obviously, the turnover number is way, way, way too high. Um, but we'll get to work on that and, and keep building off the, the good things we did. So, Coach, about midway through the second quarter, you guys are down 19 to 15. But then you close out on a 15 to 2 run. What was the difference in that period of time that really let you guys take over from there? Well, I thought I, I thought we were guarding pretty good, and, and they were getting pretty late in their their offense. Um, and I thought we kept that going, and and that just we were able to wear them down a little bit, and that helped our offense get a little easier shots. Also, offensively, we started to to attack towards the basket instead of, um, you know, being tentative, especially around the the elbow areas. Everything we got in there was more towards the rim uh, instead of, uh, you know, just kind of settling for that or looking to be a passer there. So, I thought the combination of that with with the fact that we had guarded pretty well for fifteen minutes or so uh, allowed allowed us to to make a, a run. For Olivia, career high twenty two points today. Uh, it was a little slow to get going, maybe in the first half, but the second half you came alive and just kind of took over the game. What was kind of the mentality there, and how did that develop for you? Yeah, I think usually when that happens with me, it's usually my teammates that pick me up. Um, we talk a lot about on our team working together, staying together as a team, um, and I think we've really gone through that this game, especially in the first to the second. Um, definitely staying together, uh, strength wise and mentally. So, coach, you get the twenty two points from Olivia Olson. How strange is it to? Win a game by that margin and have your leading scorer Janine Coons finish with just two points on the night. Yeah, I mean, I, but she was really finding people and creating a lot of things through the paint. She was creating a lot of tension, and and you know she's she's seeing that more and more, obviously, because she's so talented. But to her credit, she really, you know, her turnover numbers were a little high, but that was more off of of, of kind of some transition things about and and against the press. I thought she didn't force. She she let the game come to her, and she really empowered her teammates um, and did a really good job defensively as well. Uh, for Olivia, you guys obviously had two tough games against UConn and Villanova coming into this one, but a nice bounce back win. What was the mentality from the team standpoint coming into this one today? Um, so all week in practice, we've been working on getting to the ball, getting in lanes. Um, as a team, I think we did better getting to lanes, and our defense was a lot better from UConn and Villanova. Um, yeah, so I think just staying high hands defense, getting to lanes. Uh, Coach, you got another non-conference one coming up this Saturday against Central Connecticut. What are you looking to get out of that one? Let's keep getting better. Um, you know, uh, we're doing some good things, but then our, our consistency lay. We're doing them 30 to 35 minutes. Um, you know, the the way this league is going to be this year, you know, you, you don't have a chance if you're not a 40-minute team. And and we have that capability. It's just, you know, uh, like today was a little let down in, in the second start of second quarter, the end of the fourth quarter, you know, We've got to get rid of those, and and they're lasting too long. Um, so but, you know we're looking for a complete game. Uh, still, I haven't seen one to be quite honest. Out of our eleven, we've played. Um, so looking to to get that Saturday and and take some momentum into to finals um, and and the week off we have. Coach, I was just just gonna ask Audrey. Obviously, not big on the stat box, but you guys seem like you needed a little bit of energy in that first quarter, and you bring her in. What it seems like it's happened a couple of times this year. What kind of does Audrey bring that that you like from her game? Yeah, you know, we we talked about we needed an energy giver today, and and I thought she did that. And and uh, you know, sometimes uh, she presses a little bit, but today she played really free and confident. And that's when she's at her best because she plays extremely hard, and her teammates have a ton of faith in her. And and she's such an incredible kid that she picks everybody up uh, when she does those things. And and I think you you nailed it. She really kind of settled us in and. And and she was in that run, that fifteen to two or fifteen one run. She was in there, and you know when she when she lets those shots fly, it just picks everybody up. And and uh, so I thought she was, that's a good catch. I thought she was a major impact to to that run that happened. All right, thank you. Thank you.